You're going to receive your poly vault completely assembled. Along with that will be some key installation parts that you'll use during the installation. The installation parts you're going to be using are your rear I-beam, your front I-beam, and two support legs. The first thing you're going to do is remove both drawers from the vault itself, punch in your combination that's in there, and then you bring the drawer out. First thing we're going to be doing is removing the OEM floor panels and compartments. Remove the jack hardware, the jack itself, and any other options that might be in the vehicle. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side that hold the front compartment in place. After removing the two 10 millimeter bolts, you're just going to lift out the assembly and remove it from the vehicle. We're going to take out the front compartment by removing the two 14 millimeter bolts at the rear and there are two 18 millimeter bolts at the front. To remove the 18 millimeter bolts, you first have to remove the plastic cover. You have one on driver's side, one on, on passenger side. Once you've removed your four bolts, remove the assembly. Next step will be to remove the black padding from, OE, from the factory. By doing so, you're going to take out your clips, you may need a trim removal tool. You're going to fold this back. You can either roll it up or you can cut it and dispose it. This is to reveal your four mounting holes, which are covered by black tape. You'll just fold those back. The vehicle comes with four mounting holes. These are unthreaded. These were used for factory third row seats. You'll be using the self-tapping bolt that we will be supplying with the poly vault. Install the bolt into the hole, use your impact wrench, and create your threads. Run it back and forth. Once you've threaded all four holes, you're going to drop your rear I-beam, line up the holes in the I-beam with the holes in the floor, install all four of your bolts, and then tighten them down together. Because of the sound deadening material that Ford uses, you're not going to have a perfectly flat floor. When you tighten down your bolts, you may notice a little bit of flexing in the plastic. You don't need to over tighten these. Remove the spare tire plug and cut. Totally discard. Also going to take out the plugs that hold your wire limb in place. After removing your wire loom clips, push this out of the way. We're going to remove the OEM threshold and place your rear I-beam. Be sure that your I-beam comes in complete contact on both sides of the vehicle with the OEM plastic assembly. Installation of the front I-beam is the most critical part of the installation. You want to make sure that it's completely centered in the vehicle. Once you have it centered in the vehicle, have somebody hold the I-beam in place Take a center punch, and you're going to center punch all of your holes. Once you've center punched all four holes, remove your I-beam, then use the number 14 supplied self-tapping bolts, and install those. You'll remove them back out to create your threads. Reinstall your OEM threshold plate. Reinstall your rear I-beam. Make special attention. Do not pinch your wire loom. Line up your holes for your self-tapping bolts. Drop in your supplied self-tapping screws and tighten down. Once you've installed your two I-beams, it's time for the vault. Once your vault is installed, You'll be installing your four one-inch countersink bolts into the rear threshold plate holes. 
line up your holes with the threshold plate, drop in your bolts. It's important at this point to start all four of them, but do not tighten them yet. You have four more bolts, two in each drawer cabinet that attach to the rear I-beam. Drop your bolts through. Be sure and drop all four through before you tighten anything down. Once you've dropped in all your bolts, you're going to install a flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Have somebody on the top hold it down for you. Once you've installed all your hardware on the front and rear I-beams, you can then tighten everything down. We're now installing the support legs. There'll be one on each side of the vehicle. These are very simple. Just slide them underneath the vault, push them into place, and you'll line them up using your quarter-inch hardware, nuts and bolts. From inside the vault, drop your two quarter-inch bolts in for the top of the support leg. Tighten from the bottom. Inside the passenger side of your poly vault, you'll find the access hole to be able to allow you to raise and lower your spare tire. We recommend a 12 inch long 3 8 drive socket. The square shank on the, sock, on the extension will drop into the receiver hole, allowing you to ratchet the spare tire up or down. For spare tire access removal, you're going to take the pluck out of the passenger side drawer, line up the hole with the hole of the floor that we showed previously, and use your socket wrench. The final step in installation is your drawer stop bolts, 3 quarter inch bolt from the top, 7 16 nut from the bottom. You'll do that on both sides of each uh, drawer. Using Phillips 7 16 wrench to tighten. That completes our installation on the 2018 Expedition Poly Vault. If you have any questions, you can call us anytime. Our phone number and name is right on the vault. Thanks again for choosing Plastics Plus.